On Saturday, September 18th, Tropical Storm Jean dumped more than 13 inches of rain on the northern mountains of Haiti. Massive floodwaters surged through the areas of Gonaive and the Artibonite Valley, destroying homes, schools, and businesses. Crops were destroyed, livestock washed away, and almost 3,000 people are reported dead or missing. 200,000 people are reported homeless after the storm. At Gonai First Church of the Nazarene, the water level reached eight feet and left over a foot of mud coating the interior of the church. At the home of Reverend Roger Dufresne, Haiti North Central District Superintendent, water was over 12 feet high, leaving flood debris on the roofs of homes and the Nazarene school. One month later, mud and destroyed belongings are still being removed from homes in the neighborhood. In the community of Desfontaines, the devastation is overwhelming. The De Fontaine Nazarene Church and school were destroyed and are now meeting in temporary structures. Their stories, however, tell of more than the loss of buildings, crops, and livestock. We didn't expect the water to come with the kind of force that it came. When it got up that high, there was really nothing that, for them to do. There were a lot of people in this community that just climbed up in trees. So this school lost 21 children. I and one of my children were able to get up into a tree. The water took my wife and two of my children. His thoughts were that, you know, that God had made a way for him to um, escape. And uh, his wife and other children had already been taken. So she was in the house with her five children and put them up on the bed. And then the water started to rise and uh, the walls, of course, crumbled first. Um, she said the house collapsed on top of them. She doesn't really know how she got out from under it, except that the water kind of washed the house on down the river, and uh, she was able to get out. She had two of her children hanging on to her. They uh, were swept down, and as they went by a tree, she grabbed the branch. That tree fell. The first tree fell. She washed on down a little ways, and they were able to grab onto a second tree. And um, they climbed up in that tree, and it was at that point she realized that the second child, who had been hanging on to her, was, was missing. The next morning at 6 o'clock, they found the child uh, in a pile of mud on downstream a little bit, and he was still alive. So she lost three of her children. The two that were hanging on to her were able to survive with her. The devastation of this region could be overwhelming, but Caribbean Nazarenes are holding fast to their faith. If it hadn't been for God, I just wouldn't even be here, because he intervened on my part. And all I have is gratitude. Nazarenes in Haiti and around the world are reaching out to help those whose lives have been so affected. At the Nazarene Theological Seminary in Haiti, students went to work to help those in need. We collected what we could on campus, and then we contacted the local radio and television station and let people know that they could bring their donations here. We collected over 2,000 pounds of clothing, food, and water, in addition to 35,000 gourds, about 1,000 U.S. dollars, in cash donations. Being able to help with the collection really impacted me and many of the students. I think it's the first time I've really truly understood the verse from the Bible that says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It has been a great blessing to us to be able to help those who are suffering because of the flooding. There is much to do to recover from this devastating storm, but the people of Desfontaines know that their God is a great God and they have hope in Him. There is something you can do. We need you to help with donations and work and witness teams. We need you to cover the Caribbean in prayer. Your brothers and sisters need your prayer. We are praying. Pray with us. We are working. Work with us. Join with us.